Good day everyone, so let us now identify the different classification of appetizers according to the ingredients used. So since this will be our last presentation for the first quarter, I will also try to include our discussed topics which will not be covered anymore. We still have classification of appetizers according to use. For example, an appetizer can be classified as a salad or as a sandwich or as a dessert. So I will be mentioning this throughout the entire video presentation and you can just take down notes or you can view this video again. We also have hot and cold appetizers, so this pertains to appetizers which are either served hot or appetizers which are served cold or chilled. You can easily identify this since most hot appetizers use as cooked ingredients while cold appetizer rarely use cook in ingredients and are mostly fresh, raw or preserved and always serve chilled or cold. So what are appetizers? Appetizers are food which stimulates the appetite through their attractive appearance, fragrance or appealing flavor. It is a small piece or portion of highly seasoned food, usually served before a meal to induce and stimulate one's appetite. It gives appreciation to the food we eat. A good appetizer, whether hot or cold, should be light and served in small quantities. Fresh vegetables and salads, fruits or meat or even fish can be made into appetizers. Cocktails are made of seafood or fruit, usually with a tart or tangy sauce. These appetizers are always served chilled, often on a bed of crushed ice. So is this a hot or a cold appetizer? Okay, great. This one is a cold appetizer given the fact that it's always served chilled. We have two types of cocktail appetizer. One is the seafood cocktail, which uses oysters and clams on the half shell. We also have shrimp. We also have crab. We also have lobster, fruits, and firm flake white fish. And the other one is the beverage which is a fruit or vegetable juice mixed with a little alcoholic beverage, as Romans used to call as... Yes, aperitifs, and another example of a cold appetizer. So how do you pronounce this one? You pronounce it as hors d'oeuvre. Since we are dealing with the terms that are based from other languages, we also need to learn how to properly pronounce them. Again, this is an hors d'oeuvre. This is a small portion of highly seasoned foods. It is a combination of cannabis, olives, stuffed celery, pickled radishes, and fish. It is served on individual plate when guests are seated. Sometimes this is simply placed on a platter and passed around. Hors d'oeuvres are served cold or hot. Plainous hors d'oeuvres. These are variety of food, both hot and cold, served as appetizers. The serving is smaller in unit size or portion size that can be eaten with force from small plates or with fingers. Antipasto, which is an Italian hors d'oeuvre. This includes the following. We have the cured meats. It could be salami, prosciutto, bologna, and boiled ham. We also have the seafood such as sardines, anchovies, and tuna. We also have cheese, provolone, and mozzarella, the hard-cooked egg and stuffed eggs. We have relishes or raw vegetables. We also have the mushrooms and other vegetables. Next one we have is the bruschetta, a slice of Italian bread that is toasted rubbed with brushed garlic and drizzled with olive oil served with toppings like canapé. Okay, moving on, we have the tapas, a small food item intended to be eaten with wine or other drinks, usually in bars. They are served in a small portion intended to be eaten immediately. Next one is the caviar. Caviar a salted roe or eggs of the sturgeon. Sturgeons are killed in the process of harvesting their eggs. For them to fully create mature eggs ready for harvesting, it would take more than five years before they are ready. 
depending on the species and of course how they are treated in the farm. They can be used as toppings or garnish, but they can also be the appetizer itself. Amuse bouche, a tiny appetizer or hors d'oeuvre offered to guests seated at their tables either before or after they have ordered from the menu. It is an opportunity to showcase an aspect of the chef's cooking style and talent and to welcome the guest. This kind of appetizer somehow uses no recipe at all and is like a secret recipe. It is either crafted by combining different flavors and textures based on the preference of the chef. This would literally showcase his or her talent to the guests. Anything that can be served in a tiny portion can be served as an amuse bouche, like salad, soups, and little portions of meats, fish, or vegetables with a few drops of sauce and garnish. Next one is the canapé. They are made from thin slices of bread in different shapes. The bread may be toasted, sautéed in butter, or dipped in a well-seasoned mixture of egg, cheese, fish, or meat, then deep fat fried. It is a finger food consisting of three parts, a base, a spread, or a topping, and garnish. They could be served hot or cold. There are no set recipes for making of canapes. You may create your own combination of several different colored items on the cut pieces of bread, toasted or fried, and biscuits. Canapes are also bite-sized open face sandwiches consisting of tiny portions of food presented on basis of bread, toast, or pastry easily handled and eaten. Canapes can also be considered as a type of sandwich, an open type or open face sandwich. Canapes consist of three parts, which is the base which holds the spread and garnish, crackers and toast are firmer and give a pleasing texture and crispiness to the canapé. The following base for the canapés, we have the bread cutouts, toast cutouts, we have the crackers, we also have the melba toast, tiny pastry shells, tortilla chips or cups, tiny biscuits, polenta cutouts, and the miniature cupcakes or pancakes. The next part is the spread, which is placed on top of the base so the garnish sticks to it without falling. There are three types of spreads. We have the first one, which is the flavored butter, made from softened butters with flavorings. Next one, flavored cream, cheese made from flavored butters, except cream cheese substituted for the butter. Mixture of cream and butter can also be used. Next is the meat or fish salad spreads, made from finely chopped meat or fish that are spreadable. Season should be checked carefully to make the spread more stimulating to the appetite. And the last part of a canapé is the garnish. Any food item or combination of items placed on top of the spread, which usually gives color, design, and texture or flavor accent to the canapé. Food items used to decorate canapés include the following. Vegetables, radish slices, pickled onion, parsley, tomatoes, olives, pickles, asparagus tips, cucumber slices, and pimiento. We also have different kinds of fish, smoked fish, smoked salmon, shrimp, caviar, shrimp, tuna flakes, sardines, lobsters, chunks or slice. We also have the meats, we have the turkey ham, we also have the salami, we also have the roast beef, and this cheese and hard-boiled egg slices. And for the guidelines for assembling canapes, good meat supply is essential. In making canapes, especially for large functions, all bases and spreads and garnishes must be prepared ahead of time, so that final assembly may go quickly and smoothly. We have the following guidelines. First one is to assemble as close as possible to the serving time. Two, select harmonious flavor combinations in spread and garnish. Three, make sure that at least one of the ingredients is spicy in flavor. Four, 
use high quality ingredients. Five, keep it simple. Six, arrange canopies carefully and attractively on trays. I will be attaching another file so that you can further read these guidelines. Relishes or crudités are pickled items which are raw, crisp vegetables such as julienne carrots or celery sticks. Relishes are generally placed before the guests in a slightly deep, boat-shaped dish. Relishes are raw or pickled vegetables cut into attractive shapes serve as appetizers. Relishes include two categories. The first one is the raw vegetables with dips. These are known as crudités. Cru in French means raw. Common bite size served with dips are we have the celery, radish, green and red pepper, zucchini, cucumber, cauliflower, broccoli florets, and broccoli stems. Next is the dips, which is an accompaniment to raw vegetables and sometimes potato chips and crackers. Any mixtures of spreads can be used as dips. Proper consistency is important to any dip. Pickled items includes variety of items like cucumber pickles, olives, watermelon pickles, pickled peppers, spiced beets, and other preserved fruits and vegetables. So this is where our pickled green papaya is categorized as a relish. Petite salad are small portions and usually display the characteristics found in most salad. This appetizer is also known or also considered as a salad as well as an appetizer. Similarities when it comes to ingredients, use, and function. Chips and dips are popular accompaniment to potato chips, crackers, and raw vegetables. Proper consistency in the preparation is important for many dip. It must not be too thick that it cannot be scooped up without breaking the chip or crackers but it must be thick enough to stick to the items used as a dipper. You may have noticed that in Chowking, they serve chips together with the dish. That is an example of an appetizer already included in a serving. Anything smaller are the finger foods. These are varieties of appetizers wherein the only requirement is that you keep everything small enough to pick up with the fingers and eaten with a little mess. We also have other classification of appetizers. We have the fruit appetizers, grilled or over the cold appetizers, part of bread and pastries, tasty tidbits, vegetable or dough, and beverages. So that is the end of our lesson. Please do not forget to do the assigned activity and the quiz. Thank you and have a great day.